All right. Well, thank you so much, Davis. Joining me now is Cindy Crocker. She is an attorney and partner at Crocker Law Firm, and she's here to talk about this year's Rockin' Trick or Treat with Crocker Law Firm and D93. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. It looks like we're going to have great weather. We're so excited yes. about this, our eighth annual Rockin' Trick or Treat. I was just going to ask how many years now, because I know it's been a few, so eight years. Yeah, we Fun. started at the mall, um, and we quickly outgrew that space and mm -hmm. moved it to the ballpark, which has been a fabulous <laughs> venue for us. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's funny that you have to move from the mall, which is big, to a ballpark, which is a great problem to have. Yeah, we're going to have, I think, about 60 businesses set up around the concourse of the ballpark handing out candy and they also bring just fun activities to entertain the kids oh, yeah. um, the event is completely free doors open at 5 30 but people do start lining up a little bit earlier <laughs> um, some great yeah. things about the ballpark i have to give a shout out to our partners at the hot rides they just oh have they're us a great, great. For this. yeah we have bathrooms uh, there's a place to change a diaper the whole venue is accessible to wheelchairs and strollers and wagons um, they'll have food for sale. There's restaurants nearby, and of course, the ball par the um, parking garage nearby the ballpark is is free. Okay, well that's great. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to get you another mic there. Oh. Um, make sure that one that one should be working better. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, that is okay. Our batteries they like to die sometimes, so we have a backup. But so this is going to be um, really fun. And so we walk in. What kind of um, what kind of games and other events besides trick or treating can we expect? So a lot of this, I, I don't know if you heard me because my mic wasn't working. There's about 60 local businesses and community yes. groups that set up and give out candy, but they also bring, I mean, some, you never know. Some years there's been a petting zoo, a pirate ship, the Disney princesses, oh. Elmo in full costume, the, you know, that's really an entertaining um, event. Um, it's free, gates open at 5.30, people start lining up ahead, and we try to make even the line fun. So for yeah. example, the Crocker Law Firm team, I think we're all gonna be Disney villains this year, and we'll be <laughs> handing out candy and greeting the kids even before the gates open. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. I love that you all are dressing up as Disney villains. Oh, the whole office loves this event, for Yeah, sure. oh, I bet. So, um, so this is your eighth year. How many people come by each year? How, I guess it's grown each year. Thousands. I mean, I can't really tell you, but just thousands of people. And yet it moves, it moves pretty well. And mm -hmm. that's, again, the ballpark is such a great venue because we have that whole concourse. Um, you know, it's covered in case it drizzles, although it looks like we're going to have great weather. Yes. I, I will share this with you too. It's You don't need a ticket, it's free. You can okay. show up at 5.30 and get in line, but there is an early admission from 4.30 to 5.30, and for that, you do need a ticket. That mm -hmm. is an early um, admission for families with children who might need a little more time, okay. children with mobility issues. Um, we try to accommodate children on the autism spectrum yeah. by having that first hour be less sensory overload than it's mm -hmm. going to be when the when the event is in right. full swing. Um, you do need a ticket for that. You can get them at the Kelly Autism Center, the Buddy House, the Hive. You can call our office. Um, the Family Resource Center at your child's school can have tickets sent over. So Wow. Um, so that's really wonderful. Have you been doing this for several years, or is this the first year? We have. The extra hour. We have. I mean, the whole goal of this event, by choosing the ballpark and for the whole community to come together, is to make it something really that all families can enjoy yeah. and to include as much of this community as we can and just have a fun, safe Halloween event. Yeah, and it sounds like you do just that. Well, Sydney, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, the 8th Annual Rockin' Treat or, or Trick or Treat with Crocker Law Firm and D93. That's Tuesday, October 29th at the Bowling Green Ballpark and gates open to the general public at 530. So get out there and just have fun. We'll be right back.